Hey, just ordinary fans. All right, guys. I'm not... Everyone that knows me knows that I'm not one to make enemies or to have anyone that I dislike, right? Well, one person that I dislike is Goblin. And he runs his mouth online, which is a app that everyone uses for social media for Clash of Clans. He runs his mouth every single day talking trash about Just Ordinary, right? Every single day you hop on there, he's saying something new, right? Well, we faced him in a clan war. And guess what? They were too scared to even attack. They were too scared to even practice. They all put up troll bases, except for a few that we're going to show in this recap. And they literally just forfeited it. Now, this is Ripple Esports, for those of you who don't know. So, they are representing an, a, a gaming organization with this type of attitude and morale. I mean, how pathetic. I mean, look at this. They have a Christmas tree war log. They're in Champs 2, guys. They are in Champs 2, and they're supposed to be an esports organization, right? Every decent clan on this, they have lost to. They lost to Rock, which we beat in uh, Just Ordinary CWL the first season. I mean, 007 Dynasty, United AMA, all of these clans that, that are actual names, they have lost to. And, I mean... What's going on there? You know what I mean? Like, oh, so Ripple Esports taking the big L here. Goblin talking crap every single day and is too scared to even throw out any good attacks. Absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Now, I do have one friend in this clan, and that's Vaughn. So, you know, I apologize ahead of time, Vaughn, if you read the, or listen to this and, you know, it sounds like I'm hating, but... I mean, as you know, man, I'm not a dude that, that makes enemies and, and don't like a lot. I like, you know, almost everyone in this game except for a certain few. But, you know, for a guy that comes in here and, and talks all this smack and always is saying, like, oh, he's too good for us, blah, 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 comes around and is too scared to even put up a single attack. Come on, dude. Get freaking real. Anyway... So, we have got a few replays to go off of, and I'm going to commentate these just like I would any other one. And we're going to wait till this replay is over, but yeah, you know, Just Ordinary, we all used real bases. We were offering, uh, uh, they thought that we had access into their clan, so we offered them to give uh, all of our bases up so they had traps and access to all of our bases, and they still refused to do it, so absolutely pathetic you know it's supposed to be an esports organization and can't even attack when put up against a decent challenge well that attack is done enough of the crap talking let's get into some commentating some triples can't wait to see what he's got to say on his youtube later i'm sure we'll see all about it online but here we have spam musubi and he's gonna be doing a sui hero e clone lalo now again he's getting a ton of value with the sui uh, hero portion there there is a witch inside of that cc which is not ideal for the sui portion of this attack because that witch uh and the skeletons definitely distract the queen but luckily that poison spell takes out that queen or the poison spell takes out the witch then he's got the e dragon going right over that multi-target infernal compartment he's gonna freeze that eagle artillery and those expos to make sure that that uh e drags are just gonna get Get that chain value in the core there they take out that queen with the second freeze and then a couple loons to take out that archer tower while this minion does some cleanup and then he's going to start the lalo portion straight on the one o'clock going counterclockwise over the giga tesla town hall from there use the warden's ability sends in a great group of loons that are just going to snipe these defenses that are on the outside perimeter of this base and they're just going to have a simple, uh, narrow path to go into that last multi-target in front of compartment, a backside loon to just get to work on that bomber tower, finish the raid even more quickly. So, I mean, that was about it, guys. It was a, uh, a really interesting war. We'll put it at that. Just a bunch of, bunch of haters and a bunch of troll bases and, you know, unfortunately... Didn't even attack with us, and kind of a bummer because you know, talking so much crap <laughs> shows. I mean, on the last war recap video we did on United AMA, Godwoman one for four or one for six. I can't remember exactly. I just remember it was pitiful. Uh, but I mean, you you can look on you know all the other wars and and see the same thing. So 
Uh, he proofs in the pudding, my man. And uh, moving on to the next one. We got Zachy Chan here. Zach's going to be doing a Queen Charge Miner. Now, check it out. He's going to be using a couple loons to get rid of that Archer Tower, which is going to funnel that Queen to the right-hand side. That Pekka is going to funnel for that Wall Wrecker. That Queen is going to jump right into the Multi-Target Inferno compartment. And then from there, the Healer Snag on. He's got a double IG Loon CC, Poison Spell on the enemy CC, which is going to be a Witch and a Troll Healer. And the Queen is simply just going to take out the Giga Tesla, the enemy CC, and then even the defending Archer Queen there. Perfect uh, perfect start to this raid. He's going to send in that king with a couple party whiz around the outside. I mean, the super easy pathway for that king. And it, it's going to create a natural funnel for those miners to go straight down that pathway in the core. Uh, the miners are going to meet up on the other side back, um, near that Tesla farm. Going to rage him up. Going to use a, heal, a healing spell to keep him alive while that multi-target inferno was targeting him. Um... Yeah, these healers do eventually get taken out, but it doesn't matter because the queen is still up with all of her healers. Uh, I think all of her healers, unless a Seeking Air Mine got one or two. And then the queen is just going to simply break into that last compartment, take out that multi-target Inferno. The king's going to take out the other ones. Oh, there is a couple miners left alive. I missed that. So check that out, guys. Zaki Chan on a pulling on a triple. Absolutely great. Next up, we have Indy here. Indy, again, is going to be a newer member that we have talked about a few times. He's going to be doing a queen charge minor as well. He's going to start it off with a couple loons to funnel that queen to the right-hand side. Um, Baby Drag is going to get to work on a few other defenses. Unfortunately, didn't take them all out. From there, you're going to use a poison spell to take out that witch. The queen, again, is just uh, charging around. The queen moves back to the... Uh, the area where the wall wrecker was going through a couple baby dragons to keep that queen funneled inside um, These baby dragons had just enough bang for the buck to take out that dark elixir drill for that queen to turn around to go back inside of that Giga Tesla uh, Compartment from there enemy CC blows up or the enemy CC gets taken out quickly The enemy queen is getting taken out quickly Giga Tesla's down and then bada bing bada boom He's gonna start the minor portion. He funneled the king around the well, he tried to. Hunter and those trash structures going to the outside, but unfortunately he had to get stuck on a wall, break through that wall. He's got all of the miners and the king pushing through the rest of the core of this base, and they're just, you know, going to town. This is, I mean, child's play, right? Indy is making it look like it's a, a piece of cake. Basically swags his warden's ability in that corner just because why the heck not, you know, make that king cool down time less so we could keep practicing. And... Next up, this is going to be the last raid of the recap. It's going to be against Pillow Talk. And this is Craig here. You know, we've seen this base maybe once or twice. And Craig is going to be doing a Lalo raid on here. He's going to start it off with the Suicide King to keep that queen funneled. He uses a couple wall breakers to enter into that compartment. Once the queen takes out the defending Barbarian King, he is going to or she, if you will, she is, uh, the queen is going to go into the core more. The queen is just taken out, just took out the eagle artillery. And the only thing that's really hurting her right now is that sweeper. The sweeper gets taken out. The healers are back on her poison spell over the enemy CC. The uh, defending archer queen is also within reach, gets the giga tesla done. So that is the most OP queen charge we have seen. Uh, definitely in this war, that uh, charging queen took out the eagle artillery, the enemy CC, the Giga Tesla, and the defending archer queen. He's going to send in a stone slammer on the backhand side to get rid of that Tesla farm, and then he's going to lalo from 12 o'clock down to 6 o'clock. I mean, <laughs> Warden's ability to keep those loons alive through that multi target inferno compartment, and then the rest is history. He's going to follow it up with just a couple uh, cleanup troops, and that queen's going to finish it up. He's still got swag, wall breakers, and that queen ability, so. Boom, guys. I mean, even the real bases they had up, it was child's play. So, you know, like I said, I, I'm not one to have a lot of enemies. I'm not one to, to have drama and whatnot. But if you're going to sit there online and talk smack all day long, at least if you match in war, back it up. Start doing attacks, man. Don't just roll over and play dead because you're too scared to attack. Just ruin your reputation along all of the different... Yeah, speaking of which... Goblin decided to uh, go all off. I'm not going to share any screenshots of the conversations because, but basically he admitted that he was a modder a little bit ago, and we finally had to expose him just because he was he was relentless. So.